music that I'm playing at the beginning of part six is No Spectre. And in this level, we're going after their leader. You have to catch their battleship. But when you finally do reach their battleship, you wish you hadn't caught it, because it's really tough. This is one of those levels where if you start with just a single shot and no supporting fighters, you just toast. Note, I have collected 34 support fighters. And five extra little robot Musha guys. But I assure you, they go quickly in the end. Oh, I just lost one of my little support fighters. It kind of makes you feel sad every time you, you see one of them get destroyed. Because when you play this game, you realize how much you rely on them. And you, you feel bad. You develop that bond between your robot Musha and your support fighters. See, I'm out of special weapon power-ups, and I just blew up. And I'm back to a single shot and quickly get a double shot, which, as you can see, makes this game much more challenging. Fortunately, I do still have 34 of my support fighters, so not all is lost here. And you'll note, when I got blown up, I didn't have any special weapon power-ups. Very vulnerable when that happens. So I'm going to pick up this shield as fast as I can here. This battleship's tough. Again, it keeps throwing so many shots in the air at you that you just have to fly through them and hope that your shields and your little guys take care of them. I'm trying to shoot them from the side, but you can't hit them that well. Really nice level design in this game. I can't stress that enough, just how, how playable it is. It's not so overwhelmingly difficult that it frustrates you. One thing you don't want to do is get caught in front of those cannons when they go off. Then you're f You can destroy those engines. Here's another one of those creative end bosses. This little uh, pseudo samurai guy. He's got a uh, whip full of blue flames that he starts using on you. I also like the touch that each of these later bad guys has like, two stages to go through. Yeah, the trick with those things are when he stretches that whip out to be off on the side of the screen and then fly through the blue flaming fireball things. And we've just arrived at their main headquarters. But don't expect a warm reception. <laughs> 